a sit down video in ages if you see my channel right now it's vlog vlog on vlog on vlog on vlog on vlog and not that they haven't been entertaining like not to toot my own horn but my vlogs are quite entertaining if i do say so myself poor poor but today i'm finally doing a sit down video is it gonna be a vanguard i think it's gonna be a vanguard i think it's gonna be fun it's gonna be entertaining let's get I posted the question, the poll, I don't know what you call it, on my Instagram. Are you following my Instagram? No, you're not. It's gonna be right there somewhere. Go and follow the Go and follow the Instagram pro. Do you guys like my hair? Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah, we're gonna be having more hairstyles, more wigs, more kinikon on this channel. Pro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna start and uh, doing some hair tutorials some you know some install videos on my youtube page. so show love to those videos when i post them okay why because money have to make okay so like i said i asked you guys questions on my instagram and i got my phone here i got my phone so i'm gonna read out some of the questions and answer them i don't have a cameraman today so <laughs> i'm gonna be asking myself the questions <laughs> I'm gonna be reading the questions myself on my Instagram. So question number one is explain your, is this a question? No, it counts as a question, cool. Explain your YouTube experience in two words. And guys, just two word is bloody lit. <laughs> bloody lit. Guys, you know if I knew YouTube was gonna be like this, I would have started Tete. I would have started ages ago. When my friends were telling me, you got to start YouTube, start YouTube. You know if I started in college, do you know what? Anyways, let's not even get into that. I'm grateful, everything happens for a reason. I'm grateful I started when I started. But guys, it's actually lit. I never knew I would love editing the way I love editing. I never knew I'd love filming the way I love filming. I just actually like showcasing my personality, showing you what my friends, my family, what I get up to. Vlogs are my favorite thing to do right now. I cannot even lie. Vlogs are my favorite thing to do. Um, so yeah, bloody lit. The next question is, have you hit any goals? Excuse me. Excuse me, are you keeping up with my social medias? Am I hitting any goals? Are you keeping up with my social medias? Of course, I'm not gonna lie. When I first started, uh, guys, write down your goals. Word of wisdom with Bolu. Write down your goals. I'm not even joking. People used to say that to me, and I used to be thinking, like, what's the difference? It's better I just have a goal. Like, what's the point of writing it down? Guys, what did I say? Write down your goals. There's nothing like putting something on paper. Or I use my iPad. I write stuff on my notes on my iPad. Um, Cause you see your vision, you see what you want. So it just, it makes it easier for you to remember to try and hit them. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I definitely have goals. I've hit, I've hit a lot of my goals, but there's also more goals by the end of the year that I'd love, 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 love to hit. And I'd say Instagram and YouTube. Those two are the ones where I'm still like trying, I'm trying to be consistent on Instagram a lot more because started taking pictures and I said wow wow you're a cutie pie you know that sometimes I take my pictures and I post and I'm like wow this is beauty I've seen beauty before but this is a discovery but yeah so I'm trying to be more consistent on Instagram that's why so the next question <laughs> so the next question I was asked is have you lost any friends I don't know if you people think um I don't know who you don't think I am in it but <laughs> No! I'm only almost three months in on YouTube. I've not even hit the type of fame. <laughs> the type of fame that comes with being a YouTuber, etc, etc. Like, no. Since I've started, I wouldn't say I've lost friends. Like, my immediate circle of friends, anyways, they're not the type of people that you lose. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're not the type of people that will let you live their life. And same with me. I'm sorry. Once we are locked in, we are locked in for life, baby. You're not going anywhere. I mean, things happen, but nah. Lost friends, nah. My only thing, yeah, has been, like, with the whole social media thing is, like, I don't know what to say. I don't want to sound like one of them people, but... And I wouldn't call it fake. 
It's just that if you weren't shouting me back in the day, don't shout me now. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm not your time anymore, G. I'm not on your time. So if you weren't shouting me back in the day, don't be shouting me now. But with that being said, this even goes into a whole other thing. But guys, social media friends are a real thing. And social media friends who support you are really, really a big thing. The support I get from strangers, sometimes I'm even thinking like, what? Like, why? Why do you like me? Why are you supporting me? Why are you, do you know what I mean? But if it wasn't for my social media friends, like, wow, wow. <laughs> no, but I have a special type of love for them as well, like. I'm sorry, social media friends are a real thing and they're necessary, but my only thing is just don't forget your friends in it. Don't forget the ones in your corner that really, really support you. And those, I want idiots. I want it. Oh, Flabba John Jay. Flabba John Jay. But I want idiots. They'll be shouting way out in the middle. Oh, look me. Oh, help me. Oh, help me. I don't know you. Sorry, legally blind. POP, hold it down. Who are you? I don't know. See ya. See ya. But yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'll ask this question. Someone said, how does it feel being the only girl of all your siblings? You are highly, incredibly wrong. You people don't watch the vlog. You don't watch the vlog. But that's another thing. Like, family is one thing. Like, I'll show my family. I'll talk about my family. But to go in depth, that's why I like to be a little bit private. I, I literally, I love my family so much, yeah. There's certain things I was not scared to share. Yes, I'm going to say scared to share. Because... The internet is... <laughs> you people are crazy, you people are mad. And when you, when you love someone so much, it's like, you want to protect them in any way you can. Someone says one bad thing about you, um, the next thing is to find your address. The next thing is to find out your accommodation, where you live, where you go to school, where you walk, where you are on the weekend. Do you know what I mean? I realise I just can't be like that. So, let me get into that. Firstly, to answer the question, I'm not the only girl, I have two sisters and one brother. I'm the last born, I'm the youngest, and I'm the only child for my mum. But to talk about what I was talking about earlier, I was even talking to my sister, she was like, oh, you know, why didn't you say um, Zion has autism? Like, you didn't say it on the vlog, da 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 da. And my whole thing was, so my nephew Zion, my um, sister's oldest um, child, her son, he has autism. So at first I was like, no, like, why am I gonna talk about it? Why am I gonna tell people da 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 da? But it's actually one of them things where you, you kind of have to say like, you can't pick and well you can pick and choose where you want to be private but you you there's certain things you can't really pick and choose on so the thing is like when you see you know that you know he's a bit different but i just feel like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna um put it in depth i'm not gonna say anything in depth about it da -da -da -da, because if anyone says anything i'm gonna say something back da -da 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 -da. where we are now like 2022 are people are people are a lot more receptive a lot more open and a lot more calm with people with disabilities and especially children with disabilities if you watch my vlog where i went to chesington with my niece and my nephew you could see that he was probably not in it as much but you could probably hear him um whew. I'm just glad I kind of let that out now because now when I put it on my channel and listen, Zion, yeah, Zion's personality is so funny. Like, Zion is so freaking hilarious. So, when I put it on my channel, I don't want anybody to be saying, oh, you know, what's going on, what's that, what's that, because now you know, innit? And if you come for my nephew, I will find your door. That's what I'm saying. That's all I gotta say, okay? So, the next question I got is, would you recommend staying home for uni or moving out? And to that, I'm going to say, okay, you asked what I recommend, but I never want to be the type of person that tells people what to do. Because if it, it all comes down, when it all comes down, it's not me you should be finding and you should be saying, but you said this, you said that, mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm not involved, that's your cup of tea. But what I would say personally is, if you find a course that you that you really enjoy, you really want to do, and if there's a university that you'd say is not, it's not dege dege, it might not be the top top university, but as long as it's not dege dege, and you know, people on the course seem to be doing well, the reviews seem to be doing well, and you can find it in your hometown, why won't you save that cover, save that money, enjoy your mother's or your father's cooking, and stay home? That's what I did anyways, I stayed at home, I did uni in London, I enjoyed my mom's cooking, I lived at home. There's so many, uh, there's so many factors, and when I talk about my friends that moved like, to the Midlands and that, 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 Unless you're a patia, unless you know you don't have that freedom and you want to travel somewhere to be doing techno, techno crazy dance and you know you can't do that at home. By all means, do what you want. By the end of the day, are you there for your degree or are you there for, are you there for your degree or are you there to shy yo, shy yo? It's up to you. It's really up to you. I cannot tell you what to do. I can't speak for you. I can only speak from my own experience. 
the parties they're not running away they really are not running away um you know i just feel like most of my friends that moved to the midlands are they not regretting it are they not very much regretting not to say i don't have regrets please nobody is above regrets nobody is above difficulty but do you know what i mean just i feel like in this in this world of satan and his demons why wouldn't you try and just do what's easier for you do what suits your life what make your life simple people but anyways that's just me i know a lot of people that moved out of their their hometown or whatever for uni and you know they did well they're successful they love it it's all up to you but i'd recommend maybe staying at home that's just me that's just me <laughs> someone asked me are you a barb am i a barb am i pull up in a sri lanka i love nikki i love nikki i'm a barb to an extent to an extent i'm not the type of barb that is, starts hurling, abu hurling abuse to people on twitter but i'm a barb to a certain extent who i can not love nikki minaj do you know who nikki minaj is nikki lewinsky nikki the average uncle barbie please we're so off topic but yeah <laughs> song okay i get asked this all the time innit i get asked this all the time and obviously if you know me by now you know afrobeats is my bag so my favorite song is definitely an afrobeat song however when it comes to choosing which song out of all the varieties i don't got an answer for you like do you know how many songs exist in just that genre alone and um, there's too many songs to count however what i will answer what i will tell you is my favorite afrobeat song by my favorite artist so my favorite <laughs> so my favorite artist is obviously bad boy duh <laughs> can i get a poor poor favorite artist is definitely burner boy um and my favorite song from burner boy is should i just play it let me just play it Is it because I they do I'm for love? If I get it, you know. And I go also to the kingdom because, because, thank God, thank God, thank God, to see the farm on you. Who will be the God they sleep? Oh no, God they see. Like it's not the farm on you. Farm on you. Why me no go farm on you? Ah. Why me no go find money? Find money. Find money. Why me no go find money? A lot of people are like, what? Really? So another question I got was, would you consider collabing with anyone on your channel? So guys, this question, yeah. How do I put it? I'm trying to think of a way that I can put my answer. So yes and no. In terms of like the other YouTubers I've seen, like the other people on the social media, the other people on the social media scene, um, I would say yes, but probably not right now. Like not yet. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> not to say like I've collabed on other people's channels. I have like I have no problem. If someone hits me up like. Do you want to collab? Do you want to do a Like, sure, like, I'm down. But when it comes to my channel, I don't, I don't know. Right now, I have a vision as to how I want my channel to look and how I want my channel to be. And all you're going to get is me. Me and my family and my friends. That's it. I'm not yet in a place where I feel like I want to start introducing other people. Not introducing, but bringing other people to my channel like that. That's just me, though. That's just me. And in the future, defo. Like, defo like for sure for shizzy sure i will but as of right now i just don't really i don't really think like it's i just don't really feel like i want to do it like you see like all the challenges and stuff that happen on youtube i'd rather do that with my friend like i don't know what it is but i feel like the chemistry i have with my friends that would be a lot more better for you to see on camera than with someone i just know on social media do you know what i mean do you know what i mean it's no shade and it's no nothing like that but i just feel like it makes more sense to put my friends out there or my family that sort of stuff and none of my stinking friends want to like start youtube or 
take social media social seriously like that right now and i don't understand why but if they did oh my gosh it would be so lit would it not be so lit that would be so lit that's to answer that question so not right now but defo in the future defo <laughs> guys so we reached the end of the video Opa. thank you so much for watching please don't be forgetting to like to to comment and to subscribe subscribe to the youtube subscribe to the youtube Purr. and guys comment down below any other type of sit down videos that you'd like me to do i think i might do like an answer in dilemmas ah i'm not ah don't listen you don't have to listen to me okay okay it's just what i think you should do all right yeah but i might do an answer in dilemmas video if you uh if you want to see that let me know next couple of videos like i said might be hair install videos but i'll be back i'll be back bully out